Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars with the Mad Science Update for today. Ordinarily, this would not get a Mad Science Update, but, uh, in this case it's going to have to because you'll see why. Many ice age of freeze major rivers could hit Britain in less than two decades during research from universities in the UK and Russia. Mathematical model of the sun's magnetic activity suggests temperatures could start dropping here from 2021 with the potential for winter skating on the River Thames by 2030. See, uh, back in during the so called mini ice age, little ice age, uh, when the River Thames would freeze over every winter and it currently doesn't. And people help markets and they skated on it and all sorts of things. A team led by math professor Valentina Sharkoff at Northumbria University built on work from Moscow to predict movements of two magnetic waves produced by the sun. It rapidly it predicts rapidly decreasing magnetic waves for three solar, solar cycles beginning in 2021 and lasting 33 years. These solar cycles, 11 years. Very low magnetic activity on the sun corresponds with historically documented cold periods on Earth. The sun's output is dropping, basically. So it's going to get colder. And that's what this is saying. Professor Zarkov, Zarkova, Claims 97% accuracy for the model, which dovetails the previous many ice ages, including the modern minimum period from 1645-1715, when frost fairs were held on the frozen Thames. But she, and here's where the math science part of this comes in. She cautions that her mathematical research cannot be used as proof that there will be many ice age around that time. Not least because of global warming. Unbelievable. They had to inject politics into this. I hope global warming will be overridden by this effect, given humanoid, humankind, and Earth 30 years to sort out our pollution, she said. But Professor Zarkova warned that any downward impact on global warming will only last until some two magnetic waves become active again in the 2050s. We have to be sorted by that time to be prepared prepare everything on Earth for the next big solar activity. In other words, uh see if the sun decided to have a major burp it could fry all our electronics on Earth. And if it goes down, we're back in uh, 1700s techno technologically. All your phones, your computers, nothing will work. And cars will run until they run out of gas. They might not even run, who knows. That's part of that EMP thing that you're always hearing about. If the sun goes nuts, it's gonna fry everything. It could fry everything. That's the way it is. It happened, I think, in 1849 with the Carrington event. I'm not sure of the year, but I think it's 1849, and telegraphs were running <laughs> without electricity because the sun was inducing current in them and uh, on the railroads uh, wooden ties going between the tracks were catching fire because the sun was uh, inducing current in the train tracks and making them hot and then the ties would catch on fire that's called the 1849 Carrington event. You can look it up. It'll be a rough ride. Uh, 
climate's changing. It's not getting warmer, despite what these people say. It's going to get colder. It's all because of that big glowing ball up in the sky. I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.